The canopy of a tropical forest is full of food, and lizards clamber around looking for it in many ways. Chameleons use their toes to grip the twigs, and geckos use theirs to stick to leaves, for their toes have adhesive pads on the ends. Most geckos feed on insects, but some take nectar from flowers, and a few collect liquid from insects in much the same way as we take milk from cows. The insect, a tree hopper, is sitting head down drinking sap from the tree. It would be invisible were it not vibrating its abdomen. And that is what the gecko wants from it, a drop of honeydew. Honeydew is what remains of tree sap after the hopper has extracted the protein from it. It's very sweet and the gecko plainly loves it. Other, less colourful species of gecko also drink honeydew and some order it from the hopper by vibrating their heads. The hopper tells the gecko that a drink is on the way by waggling its abdomen. How the hopper benefits from this arrangement is not clear. Perhaps the gecko keeps predatory insects away and the honeydew is protection money. Most geckos are much less conspicuous and are very difficult to see. It's the Madagascan leaf-tailed gecko and its tail has wide flanges on either side so that it has become leaf-shaped. But these aren't the only flanges. It's also got them all around its toes its legs and down its flank and the consequence is that if it presses itself close to the bark and spreads those frills it sheds no shadow at all. The irises of its eye are also part of this amazing camouflage. They have a kind of mottled pale surface which makes them look exactly like one of these little blotches of lichen on the bark. All in all, it's a most extraordinary disguise. It, and indeed the majority of geckos, only really become active at night. Here in Bangkok, as in cities throughout the tropics, geckos have discovered that mankind's light attract a great banquet of insects. As a result, almost every building has its own resident gecko population. 